weather with meteorologist David Burgett. Clear skies this morning and a little bit of above average temperatures here in Rochester for overnight low. We are seeing about 28 degrees here in Rochester, just about three to four degrees off our overnight low, about 25 degrees here. And we are seeing the wind speeds kind of die down and calm as we make our way into the fr into Friday morning here. We are seeing higher wind speeds at northwest out of the north northwest at 13 miles per hour, but everywhere else we're into the upper 20s and lower 30s here across northeastern Iowa and southeastern Minnesota and those wind speeds like I said they're relatively calm besides here in the city at 13 miles per hour everywhere else is around the eight eight to nine mile an hour average right now not a lot of cloud coverage besides what's about to build in from the west at the moment making its way towards Mankato we'll see some partly cloudy skies through the afternoon the er, later morning hours for us what will be sunny all throughout today which will be a good thing we are seeing a little bit of showers fire off from a cold front that passed through here that is now over to Michigan right now. And that cold front is firing off some showers around that front. And we are seeing some cloud coverage just south of us here into southern Wisconsin for us. But we are not going to see much rain at all over the course of this weekend and for today. But we are seeing that temperature contrast with that cold front. We are seeing temperatures in the 50s and 60s here near Peoria and into Illinois. We are seeing temperatures into the 20s for us here and the 30s this morning. So it's really warm with that cold front towards more of the eastern half of the Midwest right now. But over the course of today, you'll expect some more seasonal temperatures as we warm up in sunny skies above average when we get to this weekend and a big cool down by the time we get into next week when the next system rolls through they'll be feeling more like winter so this morning temperatures in the upper 20s and lower 30s south of the i-90 corridor as we make our way through the morning hours cloud coverage will come and go we'll see temperatures into the lower 40s here across the region and 45 here in albert lee with winds out more of out of the west for us we are going to be seeing temperatures overnight peak into around the freezing point for us. And that's where they'll drop to around 32 degrees here in Rochester. And as we make our way into tomorrow, we'll see temperatures around 55 degrees for the high for your Saturday. So above average for this weekend and the temperature trend over the course of this week will be more seasonal today around the mid to lower 40s. We'll see above average for this weekend before we get our next system rolling through. We could potentially be seeing temperatures into the mid 20s, so much more winter like. And if you didn't know, this week is winter weather awareness week, and these are the coldest temperatures we've seen so far this year. End of January, negative 17 degrees. February 3rd, beginning of February this year, we saw negative 16 degrees. And when we factor in the wind to that in our temperatures, we get something called the wind chill. And this is kind of the science behind it. We see 98.6 is our body creates a layer of warmth here for us. And as we get the wind coming in, we're quickly going to see our temperature on our exposed skin kind of drop to 95 here. So the body temperature for us is going to drop much faster for us. And our, our outer layer of our skin is going to have more moisture on it, a thin layer of moisture. And as we get the wind coming through in, on our exposed skin, we're going to get our, our, our evaporation in terms of our moisture on our skin because the wind creates evaporation. And it's kind of a cooling process in our atmosphere too. So it's going to cool the air and our body temperature is really, really going to drop when that moisture, when that winds come into the play with this cold temperature. So for today, not as cold, 45 degrees, more seasonal. We are going to be seeing for tomorrow warmer temperatures and more above average and more sunny and calm conditions with winds out of the northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Before we get into some showers potentially on Monday for us here during the morning hours, potentially into the nighttime hours, a few flurries possible when the next system rolls through on Tuesday, but more windy conditions on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday for us on Thanksgiving. I love all the sun in the days to come here. I know. I got to get the sunglasses on right? still. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bring on the weekend for sure. Thanks, David.